Yep, those are clouds. That's the orb. No new babies yet. Even though... Well, I guess none of them that are out left in there were actually due in May. I just looked. Six of them are due in June. One of them was due in February. Figure that one out. Lena was due February. But none of them do anything. And Bam Bam standing out there waiting for me to go in and feed. But I got more pressing things to do first. Uh, yeah. I'd rather seen yesterday morning clouds than this morning clouds. Weather men don't know what it's going to do. And, yeah, I should have stayed up last night and worked on that, but I didn't. So I'm going to get working on that here in a little bit. Well, Boomer and the old lady came up to say hi. And when I said hi, they shook their heads, didn't you? I'm not going to do it again, are you? I'm not going to do it again. And do you know how to come to say hello? There she shook her head again. He was standing over there by the gate. Watched me put his feet in the pan. And I told him to be patient. So he's up here bitching at me. Huh, bud? Yeah, no. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. All right, be that way. I got you. Somebody been licking on her ear. Ew. I got cow slobbered. Okay, I get them fed. Then they'll shut up. I didn't get to work on equipment. Yay. Humid as can be. And a little cloudier. That's full. A little 85, 140 and some good high temp grease. Get thick enough and we'll run out the freaking seal. It wasn't that low, so. But I found my issue. Let's see if I can get you to show. Let's see it. Nice shiny line. It's like a two and a half inch return line. There's a clamp right there and another one right above it. I can't get on the one above it. That one right there, I got on enough to get about a turn and a half on it. Hopefully that's enough to seal her up for now. Because uh, some asshole put them on the wrong way. If instead of the screw part being over here if it was over there there's a clear path right into it but from here that's what you got you cannot get on it straight you can't get on the top one at all so for now i guess i'm done with that part now to figure out that sensor finally on the road Got the wide load sign or oversized load sign, I should say. Wide load signs illegal anymore. You know, everybody had them, so they made them illegal. It has to be either long load or oversized, dumbasses. Can't quite see the overhead from here, kind of surprising, but then I guess the canopy sits a little higher. Gonna hit the direction we're going now. We just got to make a few turns before we get there. And she's got a go up and walk off the road before I get to the bottom of the hill. Because this is the wide part. All on the same road. But going up the hill, there's no lines on it because it's illegal to make lanes that narrow. And it's straight up on one side and straight down on the other. So, makes it interesting. Nelson! Got a fuel. And... There's the fans of the little Freightliner. There it is. I think to make things easier on myself. She's going to go over that piece up there round and round. And I may start up there. Just because I know I have enough seed in the drill to do that. The drill's full. And then I come back, I may catch this little piece. And then I can pull in here and fill it. Oh, and she wants me to raise the disc. I wondered when she left it down. 
And we need a new tarp. That's just on there so it don't blow off on the road. But there's what we got for fill and drill. And yeah, I made a mess. It happens. Tough. It's got an engine to run it. And a slide gate. The slide gate leaks a little more than it used to. That's part of the reason for the mess because I had to start the engine. And yeah, this will not quite get me done. I'll have and there's Ty texting me. So and I got Yeah, three more text. Don't you like that? It's it's on noise because I got it plugged in and it's sitting on the console, so I can't feel it vibrate. Anyway, she's pulling it. Coming up the steep hill. The teeth aren't touching the ground. That's about all she wants to do, so. But, I'm getting her done. Bouncing around at 5.4 miles an hour at the moment. And I run half the field kind of fast. The other half is 2 miles an hour. Well, not quite half, no, but finger down there. I'm almost together in the middle of it. So this time around I'll finish the bottom of it except for the corners. Because I just worked my corners out. And then when I get done with this part here, that'll all be one corner that'll go up the middle of the guts here, turn and go down to the bottom of the hill. Saves time. Save C, save fuel. And look at our wonderful day. It's muggier than shit. And the uh, suspension in this seat's no good. It's got a truck seat in it, but it's too far off the ground, so if you put any air in it, you can't touch the floor. One of these days we'll fix that. Anyway. Oh, yeah, and dust. Freaking dust! Started getting a little dust yesterday. Just not much, but just enough that it was there. And that's all I've been in is dust. At least it's not bad. Still got a little color change here. And yeah, hopefully, at least get the next field done, planted, and maybe we'll get some rain on it. Still got more after that, but. I'd like to get some rain on this and get it going. Hopefully keep it going. You might think I got lost, but really I didn't. I'm done planting down there. Corners are done down here. Finishing the corner right there. But in these hills, I like to give it a pass across. Because if we get a good downpour, like if we have an inch of rain here in a day or two, there will be some nasty rubs. These two little spots right here, that's enough to stop it, believe it or not. Whether the seed sprouted or not. I didn't do it on that little field up above because it's like, well, where do I do it? But this one, definitely do this. And uh, I might one down there. Maybe not. It's not as steep. So all I got left here is I got one more pass up into that corner against the road and strip right down the middle and finish those corners down there. Then I'm out of here. Oh tanker boy there. You gonna come down and have dinner with the rest of them tonight? Since I don't see Brandy up on the porch to cause issues so finished planting everything up there that was ready I had a video with more of that but that tractor is not quite as quiet in the cab as the others kind of messed with the sound and I actually did have about five minutes of video and I tried to listen to it and yeah it didn't happen come on blue At least he's putting it on the ground now. 
just using it with the other foot, but still putting it on the ground. And ties up that away. We'll remove the disc too. Sounds like she's got over half of it covered once. Of course, a lot of it ain't cutting very good because going uphill, you can't move very fast and it won't roll it. Going downhill, it will. But unfortunately, half of everything is uphill. And I don't see any calves out there with these girls. Yep, yep. No babies out there. Just pregnant cows that, you know, probably find out they're not due till the end of freaking June. The other end of it. Um, drills backed in the big bale barn. Seed trucks backed in there. Before it goes out again, we'll get the grain back out and empty a couple of those into it. And guess that's really about it. Other than, like I said, I gotta feed these guys. And yeah, I pretty much got this down to a science. Sometimes I'm a little light in one, but they get enough to eat. Don't you, Red? Huh? Yeah, you fat boy. Whiskey must be said not to eat tonight. Whiskey usually eats there. Well, anyway. Oh, here comes Whiskey. You're going to miss out, bud. You're going to miss out. Do, 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 do. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. That's him. Yep. Big lovable lug. Oh, well. There's the ending for your video, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope y'all are having, having a good start to your June. <laughs>